Hello and welcome to Heli's clinical trial blog part 11. I think we're at 11. Crazy. Um, <laughs> well done for sticking with me. If you have, uh, if you're new and you think, what is this? Um, this is a blog about me, uh, Helena, being on a clinical trial for the drug Bexarotene, uh, which is a repurposing of a cancer drug. Um, which they are hoping will cause, oh, what well, cause? Will <laughs> help with remyelination, uh, regrowing the uh, the myelin that has been um, removed. I was going to say, um, disappeared uh, due to MS um, scarring in the brain. Gosh, that was muddled. But anyway, yes, remyelination would be a big yay um, if that could happen. It there's no current drug that does do it. Um, that's on the market, so that's what they're testing for. Um, so things have been really up and down if you've been following these blogs. I've been on the trial, off the trial, on the trial, off the trial. Um, so I saw the team at Adam Brooks uh, today. Um, what had happened, to give you a short recap, what was going on um, in the last vlog I was uh, waiting to hear back whether I would you know what, what was happening with my liver values and whether I would go back on the trial um, I was currently not taking any medication so I went up to Addenbrooke's um, and saw them and uh, they took my blood and I had taken a blood test on Friday previous week um, as well with my GP for them to um, make sure that the liver values were going uh, in the right direction. So when I arrived up at Addenbrooke, it was really busy. There was loads of people there. Um, so I had to wait for a little bit. And then um, they took my blood. Um, and then I was sent back to the waiting room. I just had some chat with some <laughs> familiar faces. It's really nice to talk to, to, to the people there because you, you know, they're going through the same thing. Um, but, but then Professor Coles came and found me and he started off by saying um, sorry for all the, um, <laughs> he didn't say pain and suffering, I can't remember what words he used but that was more or less the content of it. Um, I sort of said well it's not, it's not his fault because I still think that the pain comes from the gallstones and um, but they seem to now be more or less convinced that whatever it is that I'm taking um, is causing the liver values to go funny. Um, because as I mentioned in, in previous blogs that, um, and blogs, uh, that uh, so liver values can go funny because of gallstones, but the, one, the specific one that has gone funny for me, which has gone, gone up um, to much, much more than where it should be, um, is not the one that they typically see going up when you have gallstones, it's a different one. Um, so it had gone up to 700 when it was at the worst, um, then I stopped taking the drug and it started going down and it started going down um, and they told me to go get back on the drug, I took it for one day and then I had come off it because I had another gallstone attack. I'm saying gallstone attack, I think that's what it is. I mean, yes, okay, the pain could maybe be caused by the drug, but I don't think so. I really think that is gallstone attack because it's, you know, of where it is at. Um, so I took the drug for that day and then um, they um, told me to come off it when the attack happened. Um, then I went on the Friday and had a, another blood test. Um, and they could see that the value on that one had gone up since the previous test I had done. So therefore, um, kind of coming to the conclusion that that drug is what's causing the liver to go up. Um, so, so yeah, which was a bit annoying because that means I can't take the drug anymore. Um, there are, you know, when your values go funny on these trials, there are generally medication that you can take to counteract it, but you can't do anything like that um, with 
for these specific liver problems. Um, so um, they're too worried about causing permanent damage to the liver. Um, so they told me I can't take it. They don't think that the, what has happened already has caused any permanent damage, um, which yeah, is, a, is a good thing. Um, and um, as I got the test results from, from today's blood, they were already seeing that, there's good, that they're going down, so it's definitely going into the right direction. So I'm, I'm doing okay. Um, but yes, so there was two options for me. Uh, to stay on the trial, but not take the drugs. <laughs> this sounds a little bit weird, but I suppose um, they still want to scan me because I did take the drug for a, a while, um, or the placebo. You know, that's the weird thing. Apparently, you can get funny reactions to placebo as well, which sounds a bit strange, but there you go. So yeah, so they still want to scan me if I, if I agree to staying on the trial because they said we fully understand if you think it's a waste of time. Um, but for me, it was more like I didn't want them to find me being um, a, a number that's causing problems in all of the stats. <laughs> so um, if they find my data being useful, then I'm more than happy to stay in the trial. Like I said before, I really feel like you know, you're being part of the team doing this. Um, and it's almost, yeah, it's quite devastating to, to not be on it. But on the same side, I really don't want to be causing any permanent problems um, with my liver. So I've said that I'd, I'd love to stay on the trial and, and then I will obviously update them as well what's going on with the whole gallbladder issue. Because I suppose what they want to know now is, do I have any more pain attacks? Um, because we keep on saying that the, the attacks that I've been having, there's only been two, um, were gallstone attacks. Um, but both the attacks that I've had has been when I've been on the drug. Um, so I suppose it's interesting to see whether I get any more of those. I really don't want any more of those. Um, but if they do happen, um, then it's most likely caused by the gallbladder um, and not by that medication. Um, so yes, yeah, so I'm, we'll keep them up to date with what's going on with that. Um, and because I'm still so interested in the in the trial, I, I you know I'd love to still hear how it's going and and find out uh, what's going to happen in the future with it. So I'm, I'm intending on hiking up there with my camera as well at some point and, and hopefully interviewing them to find out more about the trial and sort of get the, the lowdown on it <laughs> from the people that are slightly better at describing what's going on than I am with my <laughs> you know, limited knowledge of these things. Um, so what else can I say then? Well, you know, um, I'll make one more um, vlog on this because I'm going up there next week to have my sort of final blood tests and, and see, you know, what's going on with the liver and all that. And um, I'd love to pass on the vlogging, blogging baton to someone else on the trial. Are you watching this and you're on the trial and you would like to sit and talk to a camera and pretend that there's lots of people, at least two people? watching um, then get in touch because it would be really interesting to find out how people are doing I mean I've heard accounts on other people um, how they're doing when I'm sitting in the in the uh, waiting room so I know about people that have been having all kinds of side effects like itching and thyroid problems going and, and all sorts of other things um, yeah so if any of you would like to do you don't have to do like a long series of blog, blogs or blogs but yeah any any other stories or accounts on this um, clinical trial would be really interesting or any other clinical trials you know get in touch we'd love to hear from you and um, but yes so I guess I will start, I'll, I'll finish here um, and I'll see you next week for uh, one of the last um, vlogs I guess until I'll have the tests um, done again with the scans and all that stuff but that won't be until another few months so um, you will have to uh, have that as a cliffhanger 
<laughs> see what happens. Um, but yeah, and and I'm, I'm to be honest, I'm quite upset about not being in the trial. Um, but at the same time, because it's a serious matter why I'm not on the trial, I, I fully understand why not, um, why I can't be doing it anymore. Um, they did say to me that you know this is good data because if it shows that people might have a reaction with their livers to it, that means that some people with MS can't take the drug because if it does what it's supposed to be doing, um, then people with MS might actually be prescribed this in the future um, if it works. But then people like me wouldn't be able to take it because of um, side effects. <laughs> Which I didn't think about it when I was up there talking to Professor Coles about it. But when I came back home, I thought, hmm. so what if the, the, the scans and tests actually show that there would be remyelination and it works? And there is this fantastic drug that can do it. But I can't actually take it because of the stupid liver. Um, <laughs> which is really annoying uh, but um, at least I guess then um, there could be more research into other drugs that potentially could do the same thing that maybe you know is a bit kinder to poor old um, Heli's liver um, but yeah so that's what we can see but that's that and I guess that's what happens in clinical trials sometimes it goes up sometimes it goes down and this time it's gone totally sideways <laughs> but I shall see you next week bye